So can you hear that whistling noise in my truck? I can't hear it. I can't hear a thing because I kind of fixed it about a month ago and forgot to uh, make a video of it. So let's insert the whistling noise in the video right now and I'll, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you suffer from this whistling noise in a vehicle, you'll already know what I'm talking about. And if you are not suffering from whistling noise, also in this video, I won't only show you how to fix the whistling noise, but also how to maintain the vehicle so it doesn't start if the problem is the same type of problem I had, which about 95% of whistling noise coming from a vehicle is usually around this area, around the window. I bought this truck, oh, I'd say about three months ago, and there was a little whistling noise, and I just bought a new door seal and installed it. But there's also something that I am doing that will maintain it, so hopefully it won't start. And when you live in a colder climate, whistling noise can become a problem because the cold and how your door sticks to the frame sometimes it can uh, it can it can ruin something and so now let's fast forward and we'll go into my garage and I'll show you what I did to fix the whistling noise and as I said what I'm doing so it doesn't happen again I had noticed the whistling noise was coming from the seam of the driver's side door, where the door meets the frame. I was lucky that this was the only door that was giving me the wind noise issue. And even though it might not look it, this Toyota Tundra is 13 years old and after over a decade, the rubber seal will often go bad, so that's the very first thing to inspect. When I first checked out the door seal, there were parts that had small rips and tears in them, and some parts were also a bit smushed. And usually when they're smushed, they don't come back from that, so a replacement will be needed. I would definitely recommend buying the entire seal kit. I'd say 20 years ago I had an older Corolla and fixed the whistling noise using a universal seal patch kit. The problem with those is that they usually don't last that long, especially if you live in a colder climate for half of the year like I do. The first thing you'll see with your new seal is that there will be a bunch of clips already attached to it where you already have pre-made holes for them in the frame of your door. So all you need to do to get the old one off is to simply pull it off. Just start at the top corner and pull it down. As you're pulling the seal off, you'll see where the holes for the clips go into. And a lot of the times, the clips for the old seal will stay in the hole. So all you need to do is grab a pair of pliers and pull them out. You'll need to unbolt your stopper to take the seal completely off. You'll often notice that the top section of the door weather strip doesn't have any holes. It instead has a groove that you'll need to slip the section of the seal inside it. It's very easy, so it's nothing to worry about, and the rest of the seal snaps into place inside those pre-drilled holes. And then, just make a last minute check to make sure the seal is properly installed. Sometimes the issue is with the interior weather strip. This can be fixed using the exact same method as I just showed. Now you have a new weather strip around your car door and you obviously don't want the whistling noise to return. So one easy and cheap way to maintain your door seal going forward is by using a product called silicone. Silicone will keep ice from bonding the rubber to the metal doors and that'll make the doors open smoother and may prevent tears in the weather strip preventing from making future whistling noise. Coat the entire weather stripping with the silicone or dry Teflon spray and then spread it with a dry clean cloth. I'll have links in the description below for the products I recommend in this video. By using these affiliate links, you'll help support my channel at no extra cost to you. One other section you could definitely spray this product in are the window tracks. This rubber can also create a whistling noise while at high speeds, if not properly maintained. The window will also slide more smoothly, lessening the wear on your window motors. Lower the window glass and shoot the silicone or dry Teflon spray down the front and rear of the window gasket. Wipe the access and then run the window up and down several times to spread the lube. When you're done, fully raise the window and clean off the overspray with glass cleaner. One thing that really helps my channel out is of course by people clicking the like button, but also is by leaving a comment, by interacting with me and with other people in the community. So I'll tell you what, in the first seven days of publishing this video, I will answer and interact with every comment that is posted on this video for, as I said, the first seven days, but also going forward, I'll try to keep track of any new comments. So just keep commenting and I'll do my best to answer even after the seven days.